Okay, hi everybody. I'm at Walmart and I'm going through all the aisles and I see I'm a little bit too close. So, let's move a little bit farther away. Oops, sorry if I'm making you sick. Whee! Okay. I, how do you tell what crochet hook or what yarn is, the descriptions, anything like that? So when I was talking about a size four yarn, we're talking, I just happened to catch this because it was blingy. So these are the descriptions. This little ball right here has a number four, they'll have a number three, a number two, a number one. And in the next box, it tells you what crochet hook you could use to get this dimension of it. It is a suggestion for what hook you should use, but I've used different size hooks for all different types of yarn, whether it was stated there or not. Um, and you can, as long as it isn't, you know, causing your, your yarn to split or anything. So, and it also, the next box tells you, okay, to get a 10 by 10 centimeter, then you would use those hooks. So, that's basically giving you a reference to if you wanted to create a 10 by 10 centimeter side and for each of these and a 4 by 4 inch thing, then that's the hook and sizes you would use, knitting needles. Sorry, I can't help you with knitting maybe one day but I'm still learning how to do crochet so I need one treat at a time so anyway I mean they have so many different yarns so many different things and it can be overwhelming you're like okay where do I go what do I do where do I start and my Walmart isn't all that there's basically getting smaller and smaller um, in what we have to offer but we do have mandalas and that is like one of my favorite yarns now and but just start slow take your time you never know how it's going to be this is a new one hello gorgeous kind of feels like red heart super saver mm. so anyway they all lion brand i found does not have patterns you have to go on their site to get the patterns and here is one, it's a number four. And for a four by four inch square, you use an I-9. Or a 10 by 10, you use knitting needles. I think that says eight, I don't know. I don't know knitting needles. So knitting is not my forte. So I have made a shawl out of these. And these go so nice. They just, no matter what stitch you use, no matter um, how you design it, the fade of the colors is so beautiful. I have a single crochet blanket I made all myself in pink, which is of course my favorite color. So they are really nice. I'm still getting used to the mandalas because especially these ones, because you know, you look at the yarn and you're like, okay, does that all go together? And then it starts in different, you know, I'm used to changing by the row, you know? So each row is the same color. Well, these don't do that. So all of a sudden you're crocheting and it'll go from the purple to purple, pupil. Yes, purple to the blue, to the purple, to the gray, to the white. I mean, and it kind of looks like you run out of yarn. Ooh, I love this. Isn't that pretty? This is Honey Dukes. <laughs> Where do they come up with these names, hey? Um, and they're Narnia. Ooh, that's a pretty color, too. So, yes. So, it's really difficult for me to, I'm, I'm having issues trying to get, um, to get used to the color changes. Um, I've always been the one that changed the color every row or every five or four. Um, and again, you do not need a pattern. Like I said, I've used these Red Heart Super Savers. I have made 
quite a few blankets and a shawl in this and the coloring and the fade is so beautiful that it tells its own pattern it's it's its own art which I love I haven't made that shawl yet but I have made one so I mean we have a pretty good selection I guess but the yarns are you know somebody's been in here making a big mess I have not done those loops yet where are those finger loops so hooey, here we go anyway and this is the puzzle yarn we have it too oh that's pretty I like those colors uh oh bulky five Free promotional item to all our adult shoppers. Okay, March special, I five. Yeah, right. Puzzle. We got the thick and quick, which I have not done yet or tried. And that's a bulky six. There you go. Thick and quick. See all that stuff. 223 yards, 12 ounces. This stuff is heavy. Bulky six. Please, no, oh, see everybody going all running to get the free item. Yes, I don't get it. Everybody. But, you know, hey, Walmart, you go for it. Hometown USA. Now, I haven't tried this either. Soft. It's Crystal's colors. Super bulky. It's a soft, it's a nice soft, I mean, nice one. I haven't tried a lot of these yarns. Like I said, I'm still experimenting. I only used Red Heart, um, like the basic Super Saver stuff. I'm learning every day and no matter how many how long you have been crocheting whether you're a beginner or someone that's been doing it for 50 years you're always learning something new look at this D D at knit pearl and squirrel that was what she was looking for and she ended up with more blankets than, <laughs> more balls that she needed. here's this loops and thread stuff you loop it together and it's you know you make it you twist it blah blah so yeah and then the baby blanket your inspirations oh, that stuff is so soft yes they're giving away free stuff i don't know what it is it's probably some stupid little coupon i don't know so here we go we got karen simply soft i haven't seen this color before yeah, we'll have to delete all that. YouTube, don't come after me. I don't know why, what the big deal is, but okay. So, made in Turkey. I don't see it. Oh, gold or oral. Okay, that's gold. That is not gold. That's orange. That is orange, people. Orange, not gold. I have the baby yarns, which I have tried, and I hated working with them. And I thought all threes were like baby yarn. And they're not. But I had this stuff that was, like, really old. They'd no longer make it. And I hated it. And I wasn't going to do any more number threes ever. But it's a little different now. So I'm opening myself up to making and trying different yarns all right everybody this is probably going to take forever so i will see you soon talk to you later and remember keep on hooking